let me put McGee in the phone. Hello? Hi, my friend. How are you? Listen, I got that kid I was talking to you about here. I'm going to put him on the phone and let you talk to him, okay? Right. Hello? Is that Frank? Yes. Hiya, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, yeah. Glad to meet you. Well, glad to meet you, too, even if it's over the phone. Well, who is ready for a masterpiece? 77-year-old director Martin Scorsese is back with arguably his crowning achievement. The Irishman stars Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and coming out of semi-retirement, Joe Pesci. He is probably the standout in this movie. It traces the story of a truck driver who joins the mob with ties to Teamster boss Jimmy Hoffa. This movie is a sprawling crime saga, an epic unlike anything I've seen this year, and it spans several decades when it comes to the long plot. Now, here's the thing about the movie. Yes, it's three and a half hours long. But full credit to Martin Scorsese's longtime editor, Thelma Schoonmaker, because she makes this thing so riveting, so engrossing, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen the entire time. And I was always wondering where the story was going to go, how these characters were going to end up, where they ended up going. And um, it was incredible. And that is a full testament credit to Martin Scorsese's experience, his ability to handle all of these juggling, juggling, all these aspects to a film. The performances are amazing, led, of course, by De Niro. Pacino is great, too. He's somewhat restrained from how we usually see him, but Joe Pesci is just amazing, and I kind of wish he'd done more stuff in the last couple of years because he's sensational in this movie. And you know what? It kind of is redemption for a lot of the mediocre roles that Pacino and De Niro have done in recent years. Robbie Robertson also helped contribute to the soundtrack. He also has an original song. I'm not going to call it a swan song because I'm sure Martin Scorsese has more more movies left under his belt, but it's an incredible magnum opus. And it really uh, tells the tale of a, of a dark chapter in American history that spans many, many years. There are some creative licenses taken, and, uh, you know, it's based on real people and true events and things like that. But a searing crime drama. The other thing, too, is they use a ton of de-aging technology to digitally make all of these actors look younger. And I'm such a harsh critic, usually, of CGI. I couldn't even notice at times when they were using it. So seamlessly blended with that stuff, which I absolutely loved. Uh, now, three and a half hours long. It is playing locally at the Van City Theater, if you're watching in this area, for a little bit. And don't worry, if you don't want to sit in the theater for that long, it is out on Netflix next week. So, don't miss this one. A masterpiece, one of the best of 2019. I'm going with five out of five for The Irishman. Okay, now, if a mob drama isn't your thing, good news, because coming to your home next week as well, the Downton Abbey movie. It will be on Blu-ray on December 17th, but November 26th is the digital release date. You can get it on iTunes. And you know what? This was actually one of 2019's most successful films at the box office. It made an impressive $178 million worldwide on a relatively modest budget. So that was rather profitable, especially for a TV series. So you can check out The Irishman on Netflix. Netflix next week and also Downton Abbey the movie for your viewing pleasure. All right, there you have it. More BT to come. Stick around. The street lights in the city of bombs.